if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more crazy weekly cars and tech content. And if you want to get in contact with me, my contact information is right here. Follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, and you can also even email me. The links will also be in the description below, so you can click those for direct access. And also, please support my Patreon because I've been having a difficult time with my life. And due to the 2013 Audi 4 being dead, I cannot do anything about that until I have the money for that. And you guys support me would really help out a lot because the timing tension of recall doesn't cover my car. But anyways, let's get straight into this video. I'm going to be showing you how to basically jailbreak your PlayStation 3, install the hand software on your PS3 Super Slim. So I'm going to be explaining a lot of things right now. This is a tutorial video, just remember that. But I have to go through a lot of things. First of all, disclaimer. This could go wrong and you could end up breaking your system. I am not liable for what you have done to your system. And this could also cause you to get banned off PlayStation 3 network and online. Even though most people don't use it that much, you could still access some pretty cool content with this software that I'm about to install for you guys and show you guys about it. And uh, yeah, so first of all, this is the 500 gigabyte PS3 Super Slim, and the back of the serial code is the model CH4201C. I don't know if this is the United States version of it. I think it is the United States version of it anyways. It comes with two used working controllers, and uh, I'm also selling all of these Call of Duty games. Here's a Black Ops. Two Black Ops, original original Black Ops, Skyrim, another Skyrim, Bioshock 2, Last of Us, Call of Duty Ghost, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, both of them, and it comes with a PlayStation 3 box. I'm selling all this because it's jailbroken, and a bunch of more games are in here. I have like Minecraft and Call of Duty and uh, GTA 5. I'm going to be selling all of that data as well. And on the other side, I have a homebrewed hacked Wii that I'm selling. I'm also selling the Super Smash Bros. Boss, Super Mario Kart Wii, Kirby, and this Windows 10 PC, and these two Apple TVs. So hit me up if you want to start buying that. And I apologize for that long intro, but now let's get straight into installing this jailbroken software on the PS3. So for starters, how it worked for me was I had to turn off my PS3 because there's a whole there's a ton of steps I had to do here. All the steps. So once the PS3 is off, you're gonna hold down the power button. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. So I'm gonna go with this with you. Although I already have the jailbreak installed, I'm not gonna be installing any software on the PS3, but I'm gonna show you the steps on how to do it. Now once the PS3 is off, you're going to let go, hold it again, and keep holding it. Once you hear that beat, you can let go and plug your controller in wired. And then we're going to go into the database, we're going to rebuild it. It doesn't delete anything, it basically removes any corrupt data that you have from powering off incorrectly and all this other stuff because it's, it's things like a cache on the PS3 and that cache could be corrupt and that cache is the reason why when you try to do the hot installer it will not run or successfully on the PS3 so that's the first thing I did and it worked out really good in my favor the second thing is I'm going to show you my software update on the PS3 to show you that I am using software 4.82. I gotta wait for this to load. It's finished. We are going to go into the settings about page. Just show you my version. Make sure you log in to your non-personal account, like a secondary account that you already have on the system or make one. Although that really won't work because I have a software update and I have not done that update. 
Therefore, I cannot log into the PlayStation Network and play GTA 5 online or whatever. But with this kind of jailbreak software, I'm going to make a separate video on how to access the internet bypassing the system update for the PS3. So right now, I'm going to block my IP address and my Mac data information off the PS3. As you can see, version 4.82. And then once we have rebuilt the system, you're going to have to make sure that this account, even though it's January 10th, 2019, that if you were to be signed in on this kind of version, you better hope that you have authorized the game. I'll show you a picture of what I mean, but you better have that authorized so you can actually install games into the system. If not, you could use your main account, that's fine. You could use the main account on the PS3, except the main account's pretty risky because anything can happen, meaning that you could be banned or whatever. But again, that's your own risk. That's a disclaimer. And let's get straight into the internet browser in this computer. So, right here, I have a home page. This is the web page we're going to be using. But before that, we're going to basically clear all these settings off the computer. So you're going to click triangle on the controller. You're going to click on tools. We're going to click home page. We're going to use blank page. We're going to click OK. And we're going to close the browser. We're going to open it again. And your browser should be like this. Once you have that, you're going to clear every single information on this browser. So you're going to go to the tools, delete cookies. Yes, this is the only method that worked for me. Like, I had to do a couple extra steps than what other YouTube videos have done. Like, other YouTube videos do this, but what they really haven't done was delete the authentication information, which is something I did, and it helped me out in my case as well as rebuilding the database on my PS3. That helped a lot. The next thing is deleting the search history. And then the next thing... I think, yeah, the cache was the last thing I think I didn't do. So once you have those four things checked off, you're gonna scroll down the history. You're gonna delete it all. Yes. And then I'm going to switch to my computer because there's some information and documents you need to download and install it on a USB flash drive. So let's switch to my computer. The first thing you're going to do is have a USB flash drive, format it by right clicking, click format, and have it set to FAT32. It will not work if it's not FAT32. That's in my case because my case was best case scenario and it worked out perfectly for me. Make sure it's at FAT32, make sure allocation size is default. You can click restore. I don't want to restore because I have information in that. But make sure you do back up. And once you do, it's going to say FAT32. And then we're going to go into this website. Remember, I will provide the link to this in the description below as well. So once we go to this website, we are going to go to the top left corner, V3 hand tools. We're going to download support files. And I already have it on my USB, so I'm not going to re-download it again. So once we have it saved, we're going to open the USB flash drive. We're going to extract it, pretty much. I already have the files duplicated, but I'm pretty much overwriting it. And these are the files you're supposed to have on the root of the USB. This is all you really need right now, at the moment. So once you have that, you can safely eject your USB out. Then you can plug it in into the PS3. On the rightmost side, the port on the very right side of the PS3. In my case, I am charging my computer on the left side, my uh, controller on the left side, and I'm going to plug in the USB on the right side. I don't know why it's on the right side, but it works only on the right side. Now back to the uh, PS3, we are going to go into the um, this page right here, 
I have set my bookmarks, but what you guys can do is uh, use the triangle, click file, address entry, and type in the same address we were on our computer to the PS3, which is this website right here again. So you guys can see ps3exploit.com. And then once we're here, you're going to hold select, add it to your bookmarks because you definitely are going to have to clear your internet browser several times in order for this to work. So once you have that, you're going to scroll your mouse all the way to V3 hand tools. Go to this one right here. The second option, which is ACT slash DPIDPS dumper. Once you click it, you'll get this. That's fine. Just click OK. From here, the location dev USB 000 is default. And that is basically the location of the USB port on the right side. Once you have that, you're going to click initialize and when you click initialize, successfully should appear quickly. That's how it was for me. And then after that, I clicked dump act that and IDPS button right there. I'm not going to do that because I already have installed and I don't want to brick my system by doing the process over again. Because you could brick it if you don't know what you're doing. So from there, we're going to close out of this tab. We're going to scroll back to the top right here. We're going to click hand installer, click OK. Then we're going to click install hand installer. And if it starts to load a screen like the numbers and then when it gets to 95 and it says failed, all you're really going to do is close the browser like this, reopen it again, laggy. You're going to triangle on the right on the controller. And you're going to clear all the data again. Delete the cookie, search history, cache, authentication information, and, uh, and the history. And then once you have that, you're going to go back into the web page. And make sure you do have hand installer and all these other pages. Whoops, wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. There we go. Make sure you have these pages as bookmarks because it makes it easier instead of trying to, to go to this website again. So initialize Holland's installer should be quickly. You click it and it's going to say successful. If it didn't say successful, again, close your browser, open it, clear all the data, close it again, open up your browser and make sure you have it as a bookmark. like. Hold the select button on the PS3 controller and then add it to bookmarks and to my bookmarks so you can just access it really quickly. And then you're going to do that again. Click it and then once it's done, once it's successful, you are going to click launch hand installer and then your PS3 is going to turn off. And then it's going to turn back on. And once it's back on, you'll be back at this page right here. You're going to make sure you you are not signed into your PSN, which I doubt it because again, it's running an old firmware and it's January 10th, 2019 and I cannot sign into PSN without updating the PS3 system. I will also be making a video on how to log into the PSN network and bypass the update and still be able to play GTA 5 Online, Call of Duty Mobile Warfare and all these other games. So after that, you're going to go into your browser again. After that restart, you're going to clear all the data again. Delete cookies, search, cache, authentication information. And then you're going to clear the history. You have to clear the history. And once you clear it, for example, you're going to right click and open up the bookmark you made. And you're going to click it. Click OK. And then from here, we're going to go to the last option, which is hand enabler. If I could get that there, yep. Click OK. And then you're going to click initialize hand enabler. Once you click that, it'll be successful. If it didn't, again, clear all the data, close the internet, reopen it and try again. And then 
enable it. Once you have it enabled, you will then close out of this browser and you will scroll into your game and you will see package manager. And from there, in order for you guys to install the hand toolbox, I will provide the download link to the description below. I don't remember the website that I downloaded this package from, but I will provide it to you. So what I did was, I went to package manager, I went into install package files, standard, apparently I didn't install it on my root. If you install the PKG file on your root, it will show up here. So I'll show you a video of how that looks like. So, once it's there, I installed it, and then I got the hand toolbox. From there, I did an update on it, and I got a lot more functions and more tools. So this is pretty cool stuff right here. File browser, here's an example, like all this other things. Oh, perfect, I could show you my files. So right here, this PKG file, that is what I will provide to you guys in the description so you guys can have the special menu. See, all my data, this is pretty cool. I haven't jailbroken a PS3 in such a long time, especially the super slim. Now that we got that, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But before I end this video, I am selling this, the games, all of these games, all the Call of Duty games, these two Apple TVs, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, the original Black Ops, Ghost, Modern Warfare 4, Modern Warfare 2, there's two versions of it, Bioshock 2, Last of Us, Skyrim, and an extra Skyrim disc, the PS3 original box is right there, this Windows 10 computer, these two Apple TVs are for sale. This hacked homebrew Wii that has free games installed. And you can also install free games. Including Mario Kart right here. Super Smash Bros. Bros. Wii Sports. And this Kirby Epic Yarn. I'm also like just I'm selling all of this stuff right here. Like all of that. What I just mentioned I'm selling it all. Anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like. Please share. Please support my channel, support my Patreon. Again, follow me on Snap, follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat. You can email me as well. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.